Hi, welcome to Take 5. I'm Jamie Brock, National Sales Manager from Shove Professional. I'm here with Scott Shimoleski from Digital Media Designs, and we're here to talk about some of the most recent usage of the Shove products at the Winter Music Conference. Excellent. Can you explain a little bit about the, the set, the, the setup, the set, your overall uh, idea for the event? Well, this particular client came to us for some innovative ideas, some lighting design. Uh, these guys produce some of the biggest dance music events in Florida outside of some of the biggest festivals. These guys came to us and uh, basically presented a tremendous DJ roster over two weeks of music. Uh, we approached Chave for the use and demos of some of their equipment because as a lighting designer, I like to keep my options and ideas open about what's out there. And over the past few years, I've seen the, the use of the Chave stuff being used more and more in much more professional, interesting ways. Very cool. Do you have a particular favorite product that you used over the weekend? Currently, my favorite product are the uh, are the 412s, both the variable white version and the colored version. It's a small, fast, bright little bugger with the added benefit of some of the pixel mapping. Hey Scott, when, when you're when you're specking lights for uh, your production design for your own special lighting needs for for your company, what are the top three features you're looking for? Innovative, fast, and bright. As, as lighting designers, we're always looking for interesting, unique ways to present our medium, our designs. Uh, in this particular case, uh, a lot of the products that we were using uh, were just that. We had to have small, we had to have, have fast and bright. Uh, and the 412, some of the Beam 300s were just that. They filled that mold perfectly while actually helping us maintain the budget for the show. I'm going to kind of switch it up and get away from lighting for just a minute and talk more a lot of, a little bit about video because you've done, you do a lot of video. Um, in your opinion, how have video walls completely changed the dyma dynamics of lighting design, um, particularly in television and in uh, production events? Well, to be honest, uh, the, the world of video and digital media has just given us a giant new tool to design with, to play with. Uh, up until the past few years, video has always been a very technical element. Uh, very recently, through a lot of the innovation of the LED manufacturers, the lighting manufacturers, the media server guys, they've made it a very creative and very interesting tool. Uh, as, as any artist or designer wants to be challenged each and every day in what we do, they've given us new, new ways to express ourselves creatively and technically. They've actually taken a lot of the technical backside out of these products and made them very creative tools. Doing what you do, you get the, to see a lot of cutting edge technologies, a lot of new things. Um, what are the, some of the trends that you're, you're seeing and, and in, the, in the near future and maybe even in the in not so distant future, what are some of the, the new exciting things that you're seeing out there? Well, to be honest, some of the biggest trends and why we're getting the calls that we are is all about that integration. Uh, once again, up until very recently, the worlds are still semi-separated. There's digital lighting programmers, there is lighting programmers, there's media service specialists, uh, and it's the people who are able to integrate and utilize those tools more effectively are the guys who are getting to do the interesting designs that are getting more of the fun work. Uh, as a designer, we're getting more and more calls here at the company because of the prowess that, that we're using, because of the tools that manufacturers are putting in front of us to be able to make that happen. Hey Scott, what, what do you see as uh, some of the most difficult barriers for up and coming lighting designers and video content developers? It's merely the amount of tools that are available to us. Uh, you know, there, there's a little saying that I, that I say all the time to people that I work with, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Uh, and restraint is the hardest thing that I've seen that the younger guys are having a hard time getting through, is understanding when to say no, understanding when not to use something. Just because you have so many lights, so many video panels on a gig, doesn't mean you have to use them in every moment. From a technical standpoint, however, uh, I would say it's, it really is the video world. It's understanding video codecs, it's understanding, once again, the, the tools and the technicalities of video. Uh, if things aren't done right, it's very evident in this world of projection and LED. When it's done right, it looks amazing. I remember reading in the PLSN article talking about you working at the um, Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, talk, a minute, talk a minute about what you did in Beijing and, and, and what your role was there. Well, I was uh, originally hired as the digital lighting and or projection designer. I had a very loose title at the moment. 
but essentially we did all of the original designs uh, of the projection mapping, working with the media server teams to mm -hmm. uh, create the projection maps, understanding what the systems were able to do uh, and not do for that matter, and how to best utilize the technology that we had before us. I mean, there was plenty of it too. Were you at any particular venue? Uh, well, everything there was uh, was designed for the Birch Nest Stadium. Uh, there were some other demo and rehearsal spaces that we worked in, in smaller scale for proof of concept, but uh, all the designs were built around the Birch Nest Stadium. Was that for opening and closing ceremonies? Uh, correct. All, all of the designs that we did were for the mapping of the projectors, understanding where the projectors needed to live, how do you signal to them, uh, and working with their teams, their creative teams, their technical teams, once again, to understand the capabilities and what few there were with the limitations that the system had. Real quick, I know that you, you uh, helped us out on our LDI booth. Can you uh, tell us about your involvement with our infectious LDI display? Well, uh, obviously you guys came to me to uh, help you in both the creative and technical sides. Uh, as you guys stepped into the world of digital lighting, of LED technology, it was really a matter of helping you guys integrate uh, both the lighting, the pixel mapping, the video content to really make it come together. There was a tremendous variable in what you guys had showing off the entire product range, but people like us are able to utilize those tools to their advantage as opposed to making implementation of it. When you helped on the booth, um, what did you learn about our products and what we were doing that, that surprised you? Uh, what surprised me the most was the sheer number of products that you guys are putting out. And once again, with every passing month, we're seeing more and more products that are making the push into the professional world. Uh, there's a lot of tours, concerts, award shows that we're seeing the products on more and more. Uh, and as a designer, we, we always want to keep up with the Joneses. When someone else is using the things, it makes a much more, uh, much more active argument to be able to use something. Uh, I know that the rental houses are picking them up, the production houses, it makes it easier to design with that stuff. Uh, but the, the amount of quality products that have been coming out as of late is the number one thing that surprised me. Uh, second to that is, is really the team over there at Chave. Uh, the entire team over there from start to stop uh, gave us all the support that they possibly could from the moment we walked into your demo room to see the products for the first time when they were in beta form and prototype units all the way up to uh, the show floor opening and making sure that things were there functional and we had all the tools that we needed to make sure that your booth looked the best and good.